Hey guys, my name is John Dalton. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a different style of video. You guys got some gameplay footage for once. Uh, this is actually just a video game of EV.io. It's a new play to earn, like PvP, PvE sort of game that they got going on. It's really polished, bro. I honestly, I was having a lot of fun, especially on the, the red map, like the dark red map. I love the vibes that they got going on. And yeah, man, I'm just going to start um, talking about the whole play to earn sector uh, with regards to Solana. And yeah, I just kind of want to tell you guys my thoughts why I think just uh, gaming, crypto gaming is going to be one of the biggest industries ever. Uh, I think right now, uh, specifically with a lot of projects that are actually on Solana right now, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity everywhere popping up. Uh, there's some really talented devs everywhere with regards to, you know, actual games being made. Because of, like, Solana's infrastructure and how Solana works, I think it, you know, really poses as a good solution for a lot of these gaming projects. And, yeah, man, honestly, like, I, there's definitely some a lot of underrated projects out there. Obviously, this is never financial or investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so uh, never take any of this as, like, oh, what should I buy? But I want to talk to you guys about the overall space because I really do believe in it a lot. And I think that there's so much more to the whole play-to-earn space that has room to grow, especially in, like, three to five years. This is why I am so bullish on Solana and why like I really stick with Solana is because of the simple fact that like the infrastructure of Solana how it works how the blockchain works how phantom and all that stuff works like as long as they maintain phantom keep it up and going keep it working and not only that but improve it over time I think it really will be one of the blockchains for gaming if they do it right right so um, you are already have plenty of different projects out there uh, when it comes to the gaming sector on Solana you have uh, you know mini royale panzer dogs you got you know all the metaverse ones like portals uh, you got bot borgs there are a lot of solid projects out there that you can look into obviously with on Solana but uh, when it comes to like different blockchains like I've really been around when I look at you know I've been on AVAX I've been on Cardano I've been on Tezos I've been on near I've, I've, I've been around when it comes to like blockchains and ethereum of course like there's a whole bunch of different blockchains right but I feel like Solana for some reason just is excelling in the whole gaming sector which is exactly why I'm here I think that's the main reason um, the next like leg up for crypto and blockchain technology I think gaming is going to be that next sector like right now it's still art and collectibles that's really like you know when people think of NFTs they think of board apes and all that type of stuff but I think it's going to turn into you know gaming play to earn all that that's going to be like a huge massive sector and I feel like that's the next chapter for for NFTs to just truly go down the route of especially with like the whole metaverse narrative as well i think that's going to be you know directly after that with uh, vr integration and all that they're already doing that type of stuff but i'm saying like full-on like getting people over and using it because when it comes to like mass adoption you really do have to you know get a lot of people over you have to slowly build that to get that to happen and then once it does uh, you know, it's a beautiful thing, but it takes a while. And that's why that's why I'm here. I think Solana is going to do that. I think Solana is going to be the one um, to be one of the main, at least one of the main competitors from a, a gaming standpoint, because I know there's definitely other blockchains out there that are, you know, doing the whole gaming thing um, on blockchain. But uh, with the type of games that are coming out on Solana right now, I, it's just made me really excited for what's to come. And I think there's going to be plenty of opportunity all over the place. Like just looking at you can get into a lot of these projects for like, uh, you know, just a couple of dollars, like down to like you know not as much hype and FOMO going on but I think there's de definitely going to be another time where you know play to earn is going to be the main sector people are going to be coming over and like you know buying these projects and stuff like that so I definitely think there's going to be a lot of opportunity in the sense that a lot of these projects are so dirt cheap right now uh, like for example meta ops it's like two dudes who have made they've worked months to make this like call of duty shooter and it's sitting at like you know 60 bucks to get in like that's not even bad to you know get into the project be able to play the game and stuff like that so um, that's just an example. Botborg's sitting at like 2.2 soul, I know. And they've done amazing things. They have like a whole on like creative mode builder, it seems like, when I'm, from all the sneak peeks that I was looking at. So I was like, okay, that's that's insane. So there's definitely some projects that have gone super bare right now that just, you know, even are like half or, you know, like 75% down from their all-time highs. Whenever I see that type of stuff as an investor, I'm like, okay, um, definitely some opportunity around. If people are saying one thing and doing another, like right now, uh, Everyone's going to the whole OpenSea integration and stuff like that. So, like, that just happened. And that was kind of the narrative, you know, that really brought the focus back to, oh, profile pegs, blue chips, like, that type of stuff. But this whole play-to-earn sector is so, like, untapped with, like, the amount of potential, too. Like, obviously, it could, all, it could all hit the fan and I'm just, you know, the world ends or whatever. And I have no idea but what I'm talking about right now. But really, I, I really think it's going to be something. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Obviously... I'm not used to these style of videos, like just kind of, you know, talking to you guys, commentating, whatever. It's honestly uh, 
It's good. I, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone with my YouTube channel and everything. I'm just trying to gr create as much content as I can, uh, any way that I can. Trying to find new, um, you know, new content avenues and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, doing some gaming, play to earn stuff would be really cool in the future. It would definitely be, um, you know, it's good. You know, I've I've been doing the NFTs for like a year now, so it would be good to spice it up with like play to earn. So like, let me know if you guys like actually. Um, would want me to do some play to earn games and stuff like maybe just review the game or play the game Whatever you guys want me to do. I'm more than down to do that Just let me know in the comments because I really want to take this channel to the next level I'm gonna take it to the next level uh, I just you know as a content creator you come into roadblocks of like oh What should I actually be making content about and right now the whole nft project reviews are going super well I'm always gonna keep up with that and now I'm just looking for other content avenues to, to really excel in and I think the the booming market of all this play to earn is super intriguing and I think there's gonna be some immense value so not only that I can play the game I can tell you all about it I could also like tell you you know from an investor standpoint what I'm thinking and all that good stuff but yeah let me know what you guys think I'm I'm always down to, to you know adapt to, to what the community wants as, as well because you know I've been building a project as well with like the hub and that's been going good too like it's really nice to get building again like increase creating again uh, it definitely fuels me to to keep going in this space man because i just i don't know i just love everything about crypto i love everything about blockchain technology i think it's a really good leg up for freedom and but yeah considering you can just get into some of these projects for like 60 dollars like 200 dollars like your your risk to to reward i feel like if people start playing the game that you get into and like you know they need the nft for some some reason like either that's cosmetic or just uh you know get actual access to the game whatever it is i feel like you know once people start playing the game like you saw that with axie infinity on ethereum like if that's what can happen on ethereum i can only imagine like in the next like three to five years what's going to happen on solana with some of these games like once they they really implement and get these games super polished which some of them are already getting really polished like now it's just like a matter of them like you know um, gameplay over talk all, the, all day long just creating a fun game which is very impressive those are the type of teams I'm looking for those are the type of games I'm looking for like ones that are already polished up really nicely uh, already have a lot going for them have some solid teams uh, along with solid connections I'm always looking for that and, and along with like a you know solid community as well that's always huge and these are you can you can find them i mean uh, if you guys don't know fractal fractal.is is uh pretty much the gaming solana marketplace like pretty much they only focus on play to earn which i love is a really nice um nicely set up marketplace the guy who founded like twitch or he's a co-founder of twitch uh, he's the one that runs it along with um some dude who helped make google drive or did make google drive i i don't know but uh really bullish on their project with their marketplace and i feel like because you know because of how innovative they are they're getting connections with a lot of these projects so these projects are going to be you know heavily connected with like those type of connections and that's really helpful for for projects i feel like half the game and half the battle is like who you know it's not necessarily what you know all the time it's who you know and that's how you can take your project to the next level so uh that's something i'm looking for with a lot of these play to earn projects but uh, super excited for the future wanted to make this video for you guys today because it's fun to just talk to you guys uh, With some gameplay for you guys to watch. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the video different style for sure, but um, Definitely want to talk more about it in the future. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching Please leave a like and subscribe helps me out big time go check out the hub my discord It's all gonna be down below. I talked about all these type of projects beforehand uh, It's always amazing to just talk about play to earn nfts crypto web 3 or just any art and stuff like that You guys got going on uh, pretty much. That's what we got going on at the hub It's just a solid community that we're building there slowly and surely and it's going amazing so um, go check that out also my twitter at dalton nft2 if you're interested in my twitter but yeah everything's going on in the discord come say hi i appreciate you thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like and subscribe helps me have a big time hope you guys all have an amazing day peace out john dalton <laughs>